So recently we've been losing faith in Gran Turismo. Aside from the actual racing itself, the game does start to feel like it has been a little bit stale for the past few months. The update has definitely helped, however driving etiquette still remains to be the problem. Right, an entirely new race this time. The previous one we did pretty well. Let's go for a second attempt. We started from the back and what could have been literally anybody's race out of the entire grid, we finished P5 I think, or P6. Let's try and have as good a race for us minus the couple of mistakes and let's hope that everybody up top has as much of a nightmare as everybody did in the last attempt we just did. Let's give this one a go. 7.5 is our reference as the gap to the leader as we head out on to lap one, the start of this race. Someone's already gone. Yellow flags are out. We're going to go around them as they also ghost. Oh, I don't like the way the car goes light there now. A little bit more realistic, of course. Are we going to manage to hold this one round the outside? It looks like he's going to give us the space. Not quite in the end. He does cut across. Probably was entitled to the racing line at that point, however. 8.4. We lost a second already, and we're not even half a lap through. Oh, we lost an entire second to the leader. Made up a position though, somebody gone. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get stopped there. Right, go, let's focus on the exit. Everybody in, everybody's slipstream here. We will work together with the BM. We probably should have just gone past him there, you know, actually thinking about it. If we'd have just gone past him, we'd have had the slipstream of everybody else. I'm possibly, or I am, I'm going to go for it here. Oh, Pixel! He just keeps it on track, he just keeps it in. Everybody's struggling with that turn. Right, maybe we can work with Pixel, depending on where we are when we get on. There we go again, the car going very, very light. Everybody into the back of everybody now. Look at this, we're costing each other so much time. All going single file, oh! Oh, we get past Pixel. Oh, that is not his fault at all there as well. He's been very unlucky there. All these positions that we've got have been a little bit messy. I'm breaking way earlier here, just in case. This guy's still flashing his hazards. I don't know if he thinks I am Pixel, who's just driven into him. It did look like it was his mistake, and he was busy correcting. Came back off across off the wall. Oh, Savage is gone. Right, P11 for us. We should have P10 here. And he goes to the outside, which means we can easily... Excuse me, got the hiccups now. We can easily fly through. 150 on the breaking point. Oh, we're just going to miss it as well. No. Just hold, just hold. Oh, these guys are working together. They're going to fly past. Oh, I can't move now. That's too late. Not sure if I was in the right or in the wrong there. Because I moved to the right. I realised that I'd moved too late and moved back across. But then in that time, he had gone to the left. So it looked as if I'd ducked to the right and then the left. We weren't necessarily to the braking zone, but he was definitely going to... You know, could have could have probably gotten past us. I'm not too sure on that one there. We're entitled to try and break the tour, of course. Within reason. Right, Portuguese driver there is going in early. He's gonna try and go for the undercut. Which he probably will get, but it's pretty difficult to defend round here once you get onto that pit straight or that back straight going to try and hang this one around the outside I think we can just and then it's a battle for the slipstream I need to be on the track though there we go drag race to the line as long as we can stay 
to the inside. Then we should be okay. Great race in that. Side by side for the first sector. Oh, unbelievable stuff that. Really good racing. Genuinely, that was class. Top class. Oh, Captain Slow's gone and then Good Chaps has gone as well. One's put one off, I think. We're racing wheel to wheel with this guy. And those two are going wheel to wheel with the wall. Not good for them. Very good for us. P6. Keep it pinned. Go. Oh, we've closed so much there. We've closed so much there going into the pits. We'll be bumper to bumper on the way out, I think. Right, there we go. Look at this. Crossing pit lines. You've got to be having a laugh. You've got to be having a laugh. I will watch that replay and I will dispute that penalty for as long as I live. No way on earth. I refuse to accept that. I absolutely refuse to accept that. Unless I'm missing something very obvious that didn't feel like I cut across any pit lines. But to serve a three second penalty in this race now, we're going to lose so many positions as well. We're going to lose this P7 for a start. Three seconds is brutal and very, very painful. If we can get up to speed, we've got the Portuguese driver. Four seconds, three and a half, three seconds, two and a half, two seconds, one and a half. 1.4, 0.2, 0.1, 9 tenths, 8 tenths, 7 tenths. He's closing in. Oh, he just misses us. My goodness me, we need to look at that on the replay. Please, please, please do not let me forget to look at that on the replay. I tell you what though, I don't really think there is a better car around here than the Supra. Even though I've not tried any other cars, I just don't understand how any car could be better than this. Right, this guy obviously just serving a penalty. Oh, now both these guys are going to get past. Whoa! Did you see that there? They split around me there. And I had to just dodge across to the left knowing that the guy who was trying to avoid me had gone right. Right, we could still be on for a P7 though. We're very close. Gonna absolutely, absolutely focus on the exit here. Which clearly did not work at all. <laughs> in the wrong gear that's why in third gear coming out that corner you want second chasing down for this p7 p6 and 7 very close could anything come from that potentially oh here we go oh if he wasn't ghosting we would have been <laughs> straight into the side of him there Three seconds up the road is P6. That's who we were racing with earlier. So all in all, I would say we've kind of, that three second penalty, we've sort of, sort of recovered. We need to have a quick watch of these replays here. That last one there. Oh, right. That might have been it there. Now, I thought it was this one here that we were over the line and on the grass a little bit on the way in. But I think... I thought initially that was it there where we touched on the right hand side, but I think you can cut that corner, no? Well, we weren't fully off the track. So I don't know where that penalty's come from. But I said in the race, I stand by it. We did not break the rules there. We got a three second penalty for nothing, in my opinion. Get me to the stewards. I'm not having it. This was tremendous, this. Look at this. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. I just noticed, and we jump out of the way. 
and the two of them get past. This is it here. You see me having a big moment. He goes left. This guy goes right. He's thinking, oh crap, we're on the grass. We just move out of the way in time to let them carry on their fight. And we split them right through the middle, but they don't lose any time or certainly no positions. How on earth did we all manage that? So you served the penalty. This guy was closing beyond belief. Oh, look at this. Right, one's lost it. Oh, he's wiped him out. Oh, he's wiped him clean out. That is bad form. Yeah, he's not done that deliberately. But we are at the front of that, and we just somehow managed to survive. Now, unfortunately there, you have to give the place back. This guy driving on, that's bad form. That is... That is bad form. But he's just nipped the grass, and that's what spun him. You cannot drive off after that, though. That's shameful. Gran Turismo and Polyphony definitely have its problems with the daily races. But at the minute, at the minute, I'm not complaining.